<laughs> let's try that again sorry for those of you that were just on live with me a second ago my internet completely dropped out and the whole thing I was mid-sentence and the whole thing uh, just dropped out um, so hello it's Helen here from HelenMartinOnline.com um, excuse my appearance today I've just got back from the gym um, but I am here today because I want to deliver lesson three of five um, to you of the five main lessons I learned from the workshop that I attended in LA um, so this morning it's Monday morning here in Australia it might be still Sunday in some parts of the world where you are and um, I deliver a pump class on a Monday morning um, one of the things I did when I moved to the country when um, I resigned from my corporate job and we moved to the country as I joined a local gym and I loved it um, so I ended up doing a the course to become quali a qualified uh, fitness instructor qualified PT and a qualified Zumba instructor instructor and all the rest of it so it's just one of those things I do by choice um, because I really enjoy it and it's always hard on the first thing on a Monday morning to get up and teach a pump class, but um, I love it um, and it's a great way to start the week. So here I am to deliver what is lesson um, three of five of what I learnt from the workshop in LA. So for those of you that are not aware, um, I've just been to Los Angeles recently. Um, to attend a three-day intensive workshop which is called Fast Track to Freedom Workshop and it's a room full of entrepreneurs and um, you know we were learning from multiple six seven figures figure earners um, that are you know already successful um, about how to accelerate our business how to how to build our business and there's a lot that you can learn as far as skill level um, but there are so many lessons that I got out of the conversations after the workshop, mingling with people in the bar, just talking to these people about the journey that they've had, how they got there, how they started. And one of the things that was predominant in our conversations was um, pretty much they all said how much they um, sucked in the beginning of their journey. So it's easy for us to look at people that are already successful and say, oh, they're so lucky, or they're so natural on camera, or they write so well, or, you know, how do they do that? How, many, how come they've got so many followers on their fan page? Like, people love them. They're not going to love me the same way. I can't write the same way. Um, I'm scared of doing Facebook Live. You know, whatever it is that runs through our head. But people that are multiple six, seven-figure earners, they started exactly the same way that we do. So um, it's... Uh, you know, you don't realize that until you sit around in a casual conversation and you just have a chat with people that are already successful. And I didn't realize, um, and you won't because, you know, you're here and um, people that are really successful up here and you don't often get the opportunity to talk one-on-one, -on -one, you know, have a couple of drinks about, um, you know, life and business and how did they start and what were their struggles. And most of them said, I was so bad in the beginning. But you know what? They never gave up. They never settled and they never gave up. And, you know, one of the really strong messages that I got um, from these mentors is um, you've got to believe before you see it. You've just got to believe before you see it actually happening. And, yeah, you're going to stumble over yourself and, yeah, you're going to make mistakes and yes, you're going to go on Facebook Lives and it's not going to go anywhere near according to plan. Um, yes, you're going to write blogs that are awful or emails or whatever it is that you're doing in your business, whether that's online or offline, whether you're building your business. But all of them said they sucked in the beginning. So if there's a lesson to be learnt there, it's, um, you know, we look at multiple six, seven figure earners and think they're lucky they're not lucky, they just stuck it out longer than most people do. Because whether you're in a home-based business, uh, whether you're trying to lose weight, whether you're trying to, um, you know, whatever it is you're trying to do, most people give up too early. They don't believe before they see it. So if you've got ultimate belief, I can do this. I know it's going to take time, but I believe in myself. And if I'm consistent and I work hard, I will get there. So my message to you is never give up. And this is what these multiple six, seven figure earners is. Yes, they were awful in the beginning. They, they, no one's ever born brilliant. No one's ever born successful. You learn skills along the way. You consistent, you stick at it, you have belief in yourself and you will get there. 
So, you know, some of the qualities that they have that sort of instilled in me is, um, you know, you've got to have patience. You've got to be driven. You've got to work hard, obviously, but focus on the right things. So one of the biggest messages that um, came through with a lot of the conversations that I had with these people is when they took the focus off themselves and concentrated on the people that they were trying to serve or the people that they were trying to attract, everything changed. So when you change your focus to, I need customers, I need people to join my business, I need to make money. <laughs> when you change the focus off what you want and really concentrate on how you can help other people and how you can, um, you know, what you've got can benefit other people. This is what they all say changes their business around. Too many people in the home-based business, um, you know, lots of businesses, um, you know, e even losing weight, like in the gym and stuff like that, they want the end result first. There's no consistency and there's not really a lot of hard work in there and then they wonder why they don't get there. Your business is no different. Treat your life the same way. So like losing weight, like going to the gym, you need to be consistent and you need to work hard if you're going to lose weight. Treat your business the same way. Be consistent, work hard, but change your focus on who you can help rather than I've got to make money, I've got to make money. How am I going to make money quicker? Um, so really think of the benefit to other people. So valuable, valuable lessons that I learned after the workshop. Um, you know, and I won't name names, but there's a really successful person that I follow, one of my mentors in the workshop. Um, you know, and she was saying how awful she was at certain elements of running her business in the beginning. And you're sort of like, oh, I bet that I bet she wasn't that awful. But then there was another mentor sort of standing next to go, going, yeah, she was awful. You should have read her first emails that went out and whatever. So nobody's great in the beginning. Just don't give up. Be consistent, work hard, know what you're trying to achieve, but focus on, um, you know, who you can help and who you can benefit rather than, you know, keeping on the focus on what, what you need. And the other thing, the other couple of things that I um, also, um, that came out sort of strong is, one, don't compare. Don't compare yourself to other people that are successful in your niche in your business, um, at the gym, you know, whatever it is, don't compare yourself to other people because it, it will often only bring you down. Because we often don't compare ourselves as better than, we always compare ourselves as worse than. So run your own journey, run your own race, it doesn't matter what other people are doing, just concentrate on you. And that was something that came out strong in conversations. And the other thing is there's always a price to pay for success. So a lot of these multiple six, seven figure earners were, you know, exhausted at various times. There were tears at various times in the workshop in LA about, um, you know, overwhelm and exhaustion and, you know, working hard and really striving for success does have, um, you know, consequences and there's price to pay for that. Um, you know, I live that to some degree. I travel a lot overseas to get my mentorship and that costs money. It's time away from my family, time away from my children. But, you know, I see that as short term in relation to the long term gain. So try not to think here, think, think bigger. So my message to you, lesson three of five, is um, all the people that you look up to, that you follow on social media, that you follow within your own network marketing company, that you follow in business, in life, in career, none of them were born successful. Success takes hard work um, and they all sucked somewhere along the line. So if you think you do, that's okay. That's all just part of the journey. Just be consistent, work hard and you'll overcome that. And try to focus on... Um, you know, how you can serve others rather than what you want. Um, and that's when your business can, can turn around. Um, so I hope that serves some value. You know, why I'm bringing these lessons is I appreciate the fact that a lot of you out there will not get the opportunity to mingle with multiple million dollar um, earners that are successful in the space that you want that you want to be successful in so if I can bring you some of the lessons that I've learned and if that can help you in any way or give you some kind of vision or guidance in any way um, then um, you know that that's that's awesome in my mind um, if I can help you in some way 
so if that was of value to you, if you resonated with any of that, um, you know, please send me some likes and some love. If this is your first Facebook Live with me, um, live or on the replay, just drop a one below so I can say hello to you um, after the Facebook Live and just connect with you. Um, so thank you very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you listening in and I will bring you tomorrow lesson four of five. Um, so we're almost there with our five lessons. So thank you very much for listening and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.